In this video, we configure Azure Automation with Log Analytics. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. At some point, we may want to collect, view, and alert on Azure Automation log data. Log Analytics is the platform designed just for those tasks. In this video, we review how to get the data into Log Analytics. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Get early access to videos by becoming a member to this channel, add free will private, and check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Azure AD at Udemy.com. Back to it, at some point, we may decide to link an Azure Automation account with a Log Analytics workspace. If you go to the Azure Automation portal under Linked Workspaces, the default setting shows it's not linked, but there's no option to link it. Maybe we need to do that from the Log Analytics workspace. Let's go take a look at the default settings of that. It shows the same thing. It's not linked and there's no option to link the workspace. If we don't have an option to link, how do we connect an Azure Automation account with a Log Analytics workspace? Well, the question isn't how to link an automation account with Log Analytics, but why do we want to link it? The first reason is because we want to enable a solution in Azure Automation that requires a workspace. Those include the update management, change tracking, inventory, and start-stop VM solution. The process of enabling any of these requires a Log Analytics workspace. So if that's our goal, it's easy to link a Log Analytics workspace. Just enable the solution. A couple of things to note about linking automation accounts to Log Analytics workspaces. Log Analytics can only be linked to one Azure Automation account, and an automation account can only be linked to one Log Analytics workspace. You can't set it different for each solution. Once it's linked, all solutions use the same workspace. Also, there's a region limit when linking Azure Automation accounts with Log Analytics. Generally, the Log Analytics workspace and Azure Automation account need to be in the same region. The exception is with East US and East US 2, those are different. I'll leave a link to the location requirements below. And finally, I suggest creating a Log Analytics workspace before enabling any of the solutions in Azure Automation. Azure can create one for you when the solution is enabled, but it has a real ugly name that starts with workspace followed by a long good. Create a workspace first so it matches your naming standards. The other reason we may want to link an automation account is to send Azure Automation job, event data, and other diagnostic information to Log Analytics. That doesn't require a linked workspace. And unlike a linked workspace, we can send that data to a Log Analytics workspace in a different region. We just need to specify the Log Analytics workspace and what logs we want to send. Let's jump into the portal to link a workspace and configure diagnostic data. Let's start out in the Azure Automation account. If we go to linked workspaces, No Log Analytics workspace has been linked and there's no option to link one. Let's go to a Log Analytics workspace. Under Related Resources, Azure Automation Account, it shows that the Log Analytics workspace is not linked to an automation account. And more importantly, there's no way to link one from here either. This is just an example account and it hasn't been linked to any Azure Automation account. Let's go back to the Automation account. And while we're looking at settings, let's take a look at Diagnostic Data. Under Monitoring, Diagnostic Settings. There's no Diagnostic Settings defined for this Azure Automation account. We'll come back to this shortly. We can't manually connect a Log Analytics workspace, but one will be linked once we enable a solution that requires Log Analytics. Let's do that, but let's first create a Log Analytics workspace for this automation account. We'll go back to Log Analytics. We want to create a Log Analytics workspace first. Otherwise, it'll get a default name that starts with workspace and has a long GUID. We want to make sure this Log Analytics workspace fits our naming standards. We'll create a new one. Select your subscription. And for this example, I'm going to use the existing resource group for the automation account. 
And of course, if you already have a workspace you want to use, you can use that instead. As long as it's in the correct region, it'll work. So let's call this one Azure Automation 01 WS. And the region is Central US. We can go to Review and Crate. And Crate. That creates the Log Analytics workspace will attach to the Azure Automation account. For this example, both the Automation account and the Log Analytics workspace were in the same region. Let's go back to Azure Automation to enable a solution. We'll go into our Automation account. We have an option to link a workspace under Inventory, Change Tracking, and Update Management. We can select any of these. Let's use Inventory for this example. We'll go up to Inventory, and we'll select our Log Analytics workspace, Azure Automation 01 WS. It'll take a second until the Enable button is active. Let's enable it. We'll wait for that deployment to finish. It's going to take a minute or two for the solution to finish. But now if we go into linked workspaces, it shows we're linked to Azure Automation 01 WS. That shows how we link Azure Automation with Log Analytics. It's something we only really need to do when the solution requires it. But what about job data and other diagnostic information? From the Azure Automation account, let's go to Diagnostic Settings under Monitoring. This is where we'll configure sending audit, job, and other diagnostic settings to Log Analytics. But notice we have a setting in place already. That wasn't there when we looked at this account before. Let's go into Edit to view these settings. We'll make this bigger. It's configured to send job logs, streams, and DCS information to our workspace. This was enabled when we onboarded the inventory solution. We could enable other logs from here if we wanted to audit events or metrics. Instead, let's close this and go back to diagnostic settings. We're going to add our own diagnostic settings for this example, but if we want to send information to log analytics, but don't want to enable a solution, we can do that from Diagnostic Settings. So let's do that now. We'll add Diagnostic Settings. We'll give it a name. I'll call this Audit Events. The other Diagnostic Setting is sending job logs, job streams, and DCS information to our Log Analytics workspace. I'm just going to set Audit Events for this setting. We have the option to send data to a Log Analytics workspace, a storage account, Event Hub, or Partner Solution. Let's select Log Analytics. Select the subscription in the workspace. Notice we have the option to send data to workspaces that are in different regions. The region restriction doesn't apply to diagnostic data. This is handy if we want solution data to go to one workspace, but want other data to go to another workspace, or if we want to send data to multiple workspaces. Set our Log Analytics workspace and click Save. we now have our new diagnostic settings applied. Let's verify this is working by viewing the log data next. We'll create a simple runbook and publish and run it next to create some log data. We'll go back to the automation account, go up to runbooks. We'll create a runbook. We'll just create a simple runbook. We'll use PowerShell 7.1. And we'll skip the description and create. And again, this is a very simple runbook just to view log data. I'm just going to write the output hello world, and I'm going to save and publish. Now that it's published, we can run the job. This should just take a second to run. I'll pause here until it's done. Okay, that's complete. Let's go to output. Hello world. Okay, that worked. Once it's finished, let's go to the Log Analytics workspace we sent the data to and verify it worked. I'll go to Log Analytics and open up my workspace. From our Log Analytics workspace, let's go to Logs.
And we can close this out. And that as well. You may need some patience for this step. It can take like up to 15 minutes in some cases for data to show in log analytics, especially new log analytics workspaces. It's usually not that long, but it can take a few minutes. Next, we'll run a command and return the Azure automation logs. Here we're running a query against the Azure Diagnostics table, and we're looking for records that contain Microsoft automation. And we have some. That returns some results. That's good. That means our diagnostic data is going to our log analytics workspace. If we look at job stream, and if we scroll down, the result description equals hello world. That's the stream from the write output command. That is how to link Azure Automation accounts to a log analytics workspace and also send diagnostic information to a log analytics workspace. I hope that helps you better understand how to configure Azure Automation with log analytics. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.